Okay. Now, as a final piece, we will cover how to export. Again, I've got several tracks of music in there. I've got my clips that cut from one to the next. And I believe we've covered just about everything that we need to for this one. Nice and simple stuff. Turn this one to no dissolve. No dissolve. I just like straight cuts, especially for some of the stories that we're telling, the in and out of frame techniques. That'll be the best way to get those stories told. Now, last thing we have to talk about is how to get it out of iMovie up to YouTube, and that is actually very simple. You're going to go up here to the top left of the browser, I guess, of the viewer. Hit that button. That'll send you back to the project list. It auto names it for you, so just tap on that My Project 4, hit the little X, and call it whatever you want. This is my test movie. Done. Now I have some choices down here at the bottom for this particular movie. I have, I can hit the play button, right there with the triangle, or the share button, which gives me then choices for saving this movie to my camera roll, or uploading it straight to YouTube. Um, Either one of those will work. If you go straight to YouTube, um, probably easier for what we're doing. Saving it to the camera roll means that you have a copy of it saved here on the iPad that you can share with people, and you can then from there share up to YouTube. But we can go straight there. So, first thing it's going to do is say, Who are you? I give it my login information. There's my email address and my password, which you're not allowed to see. Of course, I just want to be secure. Once you're signed in, you can change the movie as it shows up on YouTube. Add a description, which goes here. Change the category if you choose. Add some tags if you want. And decide how big it is. I'd like to see our stuff up as, as good a resolution as possible, so 720 or 1080 would be great. You can also choose if it goes up private, unlisted, or public. For our class, we probably need things to be either public so that everybody can see them and, and you can search for them on YouTube, etc. Or if you're afraid of uh, that, or I guess not, you know, for some reason you don't want to show this stuff, and that's okay, you can make it unlisted, meaning nobody can search it. Only people that are going to see it are people who have the link, which, since you'll be posting it in our class, hopefully the people in our class will get that. So, I'm going to do mine unlisted, and for the sake of speed, I'm going to do 720p, and as soon as I hit share, it starts to export my movie. First, it's going to build it. It's going to kind of bake it down. I like to think of this as the baking portion. It'll bake down, and when it's ready, it'll start the upload. And you'll, I don't remember if it sells anything, but it'll start to push itself to YouTube. There it goes, uploading to YouTube. And this depends on your internet connection, how long this will take. If it's a smaller movie, of course, that 720p makes it a little bit smaller, it will upload to YouTube a little bit faster. This is easy. Once it's uploaded to YouTube, then the last part of the assignment is to embed it into our blog. And that's a simple process, is uh, logging on to YouTube, grabbing that short code, and embedding it into a WordPress. You have all those apps on your iPads, and it would be a very simple process for you to step over to YouTube, grab the code, back to WordPress, write a new post. But you can also do that on your computer if you'd like. Okay, publish YouTube. I'm just going to hit I can hit visit. It takes me to the YouTube app. Shows it to me right there. It's being processed so I don't get to watch it. But I can hit my share button here. And straight from the share button I can say whoop, copy link. Now if I were to go to my WordPress app, 
I'm using all five fingers, by the way. All five fingers squeezing in together gets me back to the beginning, or back to the, uh, all my apps. And I'll go back to the beginning because I have a WordPress app on here somewhere, so I can tap on my WordPress app. And I don't know if I have it set up for this class. Yes, yes. I right, will update later. There's my particular blog that I'm working on. If I want to do a, a new blog post, again, I'm doing this all from the app. You can do this from your computer if you'd like, if you feel more comfortable on the WordPress. But I get the same stuff here. I can do a sample test video embed and I can either write my content you know hey this is a story about me and how I did this and it was a lot of fun I did this and since I copied that link when I was in YouTube I can hit paste and add it there shift my keyboard out of the way and when I hit publish it uploads it and ping that's what it's going to look like if I want to preview that Right, so I'm going to go out of that and pop up Safari. There's my sample test video embed. There's all this. So there is the post that I used the app to post and the video right in the center of it. That's it. That's everything you wanted to know. That's how to use iMovie and how to export it. And like I said, you can do that final step of putting it from YouTube onto a blog. You do that on your computer or, as I just showed you briefly, here on the iPad. Let me know if you have any questions. You can hit me up at Twitter, at night20, or, or an email. Thanks for watching.